Their manes and long tails fluttering in the wind, 300 wild horses graze this land unconcerned with the controversies that surround them. At one extreme, some activists want all wild horses left to roam free across the West, while others see slaughterhouses as the most cost-effective way to deal with overpopulation. Here, there is both freedom and control of numbers. You can just tell they're happy. I mean, I would be, rather than being in a little feedlot or, or cooped up or have to have a bale of hay fed to me every day. Uh, I know we're doing something good. Curiosity is their most noticeable characteristic. They'll grab a bucket off the back of your pickup and run with it. and uh, You know, I, like do they want to play? Are they bored? Sometimes we wonder if we put a big old ball out here, if they'd play a, a football game or something. Wilson says the horses tend to buddy up in pairs, and even though all are geldings, there is a definite pecking order. You can come out here and, boy, they'll be kicking each other and rearing and biting and kind of a little standoff type deal and and uh, <laughs> you know you know what's going on they're saying hey buddy it's, I'm the big dog today. People who have toured the herd form an immediate attachment. You just get to see the look in their eyes it's or breathtaking you can just see oh my gosh you know can can I touch one can I pat one and one should always keep in mind that no matter how docile in appearance, they are still wild horses. They're a real um, nice animal, um, unless, unless they turn and kick on you. Yeah. <laughs>